Hello, this is Onyx Tarot, and today I'm going to be doing a message for Scorpio. So thank you all so much for hitting the like button and subscribing. I really do appreciate it, and it is super helpful to my channel. If you all would like to join my Patreon, I post all of the extended readings there, and I offer free readings for Patreon members twice a month, so feel free to join in the description box. All right, let's go ahead and get some advice for Scorpio. All right, so you guys have Moonflower, take a risk. So let's go ahead and find this and read it in the book. Let's see what we have here for Moonflower. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> All right. So take a risk. Do you have the courage to spend the wheel of life and see what comes up? Playing it safe will not serve your current situation. Knowing it's, no one is saying that you should take a massive risk and gamble everything away, but nor should you refuse to make your move. It could be time for you to, to adopt a more positive mental attitude and see your glass half full. A regular gratitude practice will help, for example, every Friday night. Try doing your practice with friends or family for a few weeks. Adventure is calling you somehow, and this card has come up because your higher self wants you to look further into it. As Marianne Williamson famously wrote, your playing small does not serve the world. It's time for you to take a risk and show the world who you really are and how you really feel. If your self-esteem is hampering you, this card is a sign to work on it for real. The wheel is spinning when you get this card. Take a chance. So additional meanings for this card is take the trip, be optimistic, love yourself more, uh, life is short, make the most of it, believe in yourself. All right. So um, I'm getting here that there's something that is coming up for you that is like, it may seem like a really, really big risk. Um, and you may be like, mm, I'm not really sure if I want to take it. Uh, let's clarify take a risk for Scorpio. All right, so we have the Ten of Swords reverse, King of Wands reverse, Queen of Pentacles reverse, Nine of Wands reverse, Judgment, Knight of Cups reverse, and bottom of the deck is the Devil reverse. Interesting. All right. So I'm seeing that the worst, you may have gone through some type of ending, but the worst of whatever ending that you just experienced um, is over. I feel like things are going to be smooth sailing. Um, I also feel like you're leaving behind a situation where you were tied to someone or tied to something or stuck in a job or stuck in a relationship. Nine of Pentacles and the reverse. Um, I also feel like you're not going back to this job or this person or this contract or whatever the case is. You're ready to move forward. Now, King of Wands reverse, Queen of Pentacles reverse. There may be some type of situation where someone is trying to um, make some type of financial decision that would impact you. And I also feel like you're gaining more and more information about this. Now, what is a risk? Knight of Wands reverse. Hmm. Seven of Wands reverse. Okay, so it seems like there's a major decision that you're supposed to be or that you should be taking or could take or whatever the case is. That's what the advice card here is to make your situation have some type of better outcome. Okay, and what is that? Six of Pentacles reverse and the King of Swords reverse. So again, there's somebody here that's going to try to... Somebody, you could feel like somebody's breadcrumbing you or you're not getting paid enough or there's some type of financial situation here. But this person, I mean, it's saying the risk would be working together with this person. Um, I feel like this is somebody who you have a lot of issues with um, because of their ego, King of Wands, Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, also, they could have impacted you financially. However, it's saying that there's some type of risk in almost like not pursuing something 
that would go in your favor. Now, I don't know what this is. <laughs> um, Ace of Wands reverse clarifying the two cups. What is the, let's see, Ace of, Ace of Cups reverse. Wow. So it seems like the risk would be making some type of decision to... I don't want to say delaying something or not going after something because I feel like there's a bunch of different um, possible case possible case scenarios here. But it's saying like Ten of Pentacles reverse. A lot of you are going to have some type of um, contract or negotiation or family negotiation or family m money or something like that negotiation. And I feel like yeah, some type of situation is coming back up where you're essentially going to be discussing something and like brainstorming some type of um, possible case scenario. What is the goal here for Scorpio? What is the goal here for Scorpio? The star. Healing. brand Something brand new. Like you're trying to be in a better place and you're trying to move on from this person or from this job or from this ex or whoever the case is. So, um, you know, if you resonate with this and you, especially if you're working on coming to some type of agreement, there may be some type of risk, some type of something that you felt like you would never agree to that would lead you to like more freedom in a situation. Yeah, because I feel like you're going to have the information, all of the information that you're needing, right? And you're going to have all the time to delay something, all the time to like, just kind of like, you know, you're going to be in charge of either wrapping up the cycle or not to go forward with this person and pursue something or not. And I feel like, again, um, that's crazy. There's a, a golden opportunity um, to work with this person in certain ways, okay? Not like, you know, let's not be crazy here, that would cause a big tower moment in the form of you being able to like start something new. So I feel like there's some type of negotiation, there's some type of like partnership or something, something that you've been fighting for to get justice on that um, may be helpful to, you know, you may be in a position in the future where you're able to change the dynamic, change the camaraderie that you had with this person and work together so that you get what you want out of some type of um, some type of agreement here. Yeah, page of swords reverse and the four cups. But at the same time, again, you're going to have time to look into some type of matter. You're going to have time to, you know, see this person like want to negotiate, want to work with you, that kind of thing. But again, um, I feel like trust your gut. Something may come up, you know, in the next you know, a few days where you will have a decision on whether you want to go forward with something. I feel like there's something again that you have been waiting for, something you've been manifesting for a really long time um, that could be very important to think of before you come up with some type of um, agreement or, you know, being on the same page or finality with this person. And I feel like whatever it is, um, you're protected either way. Some type of cycle closes either way, but you're going to have some days, like you're going to have like two, two weeks or two months to kind of come to a decision on how to, you know, get to some mutual agreement uh, with someone. So trust your gut here. I feel like this person is going to be singing a different tone, which is what I've been picking up on yesterday. Five of swords reverse, seven of cups reverse, where they're willing, they're actually going to be willing to work with you. Um, I feel like they're going to be more, you know, more, more excited to work with you if something benefits them financially. Um, cause they're, wor they're stressed out right now with whatever is going on with themselves and whatever is going on in their day to day. But again, it could be really helpful to think about what would make you feel balanced. What would make you feel like this is the outcome that I want. And, um, again, brainstorm before you, you know, 
talk to this person uh, because again, the, something may work out better than you expect it to. This person may be more willing to compromise, um, you know, more than you think they will, okay? So feel free to let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for hitting the like button, subscribing, and thank you all so much for watching.